my viewer top 20 favorites from 2022. These are the things that you clicked on most. And of course, a lot of these are my favorites too. My first viewer favorite is from Amazon and it is these faux fur bombers. I bought the black one first and I bought it before it was even, you know, time to wear a coat and it killed me not to wear it. So now I've been wearing it. And then I bought my mom the brown one and I loved it so much that I bought myself a brown one too. I did size up. I typically wear, you know, a small or I, I do get medium a lot of times in jackets because I would rather them be oversized. But, oh my goodness, you guys, this is the just most luxe jacket. When I ordered it, I didn't know what to expect. It's from Amazon, the drop. And I just didn't expect the quality to be this good, to be honest with you. It's got the fur right here and then kind of like a little nylon on the inside. But the zipper is very like big and hardy, easy to zip up. And I love the sleeves. I'm so glad they aren't like a knit or something like that. And then I always say with a faux fur, it's all about the collar. Now this one has the hood, but that just gives that same kind of glam look as like a big faux fur collar. My mom said it was one of those days that was really cold. I guess last week or week before last probably. She wore hers with the hat up and she said it was so warm. So that was good to hear. And then it has pockets and it is just really cool. I've worn it with a dress before for that Sex in the City look and I loved it. So let me try on the brown one for you too because it is the prettiest teddy bear brown. Okay, so here is the brown. I want you to see it really close. It just slides on and like I said, it has a great zipper. I'm kind of funny about my zippers. It's irritating to me when they don't put a good one on, you know, to match the weight of the article of clothing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Hey. Viewer favorite number two should be no surprise. It is the New Balance tennis shoes. The sexiest sneakers you will ever own. Now the Rag and Bone sneakers, they are very luxe and velvety and just really nice looking, but there is something about these that has that sporty, sexy, chic look. Sporty comes from this in the back. I just think that is such a nice touch. Chicness because they're all black and they're not too wide. They're wide enough to be cool and look good with, you know, just about anything that you would wear, but they're not bulky. They're still kind of streamlined. Sexy because they are just so there's just something about your ankle in the shoe that just looks so pretty. I find these true to size. I'm an eight and I wear an eight, but I don't wear socks. I bought my mom and my sister-in-law these for Christmas and I bought their true size and they said they fit. When I first saw these on my friend Ariel, when I looked at them, to me they looked like Chanel tennis shoes just because they are so good looking. So these were number two of 2022. Number three from the year is what I have on today, the J. Crew cashmere sweater. This is probably my best, most favorite sweater, just a plain, you know, ordinary sweater of all times. And it's because of the, the fact that it's cashmere. So it's super, super soft, of course, super breathable, but the fit, See how it's kind of cropped, but not too cropped. It's not like your tummy sticks out. It just matches up with your waistline beautifully on denim, on leggings, anything. I'm sure it would look great with a pencil skirt. You could probably, if you had a high-waisted pant, tuck it in. Then I got the pink. This is what I wore for Thanksgiving when I had my family over. And then I got the poppy orange color. I got the charcoal. Perfect, I have really enjoyed these. How it has the pretty arms. It almost gives you that, it's just great for layering. It's good instead of a t-shirt, but it's just a little elevated. It's something that you don't even wanna take off when you get home. Number four was the Dean Davidson birthstone pendant. So I have mine on. This is actually Will's birthstone. It is the citrine for November. 
And so I put that one on today with my other pendant I just got, but I also have the one for Brooke's birthday, which is the aqua marine. And then I also have a sapphire. And today it was really cool. I'm glad I put them on at the same time because I've often wondered what was so great about this necklace. I mean, I really love this. I really loved it in the summertime. It just looked so good with all of my dresses and just, you know, on my skin. It's the chain for sure, the design of the chain. I think the length of the chain makes it extra sexy and extra wearable, good to layer with, and there's just no wonder that I like it so much. It's easy to put on, it has the lobster claw catch, and of course you could shorten it. I love it and it would be great for you to just get for yourself. Okay, number five, the Barefoot Dreams Joggers. I love these and I am not surprised that you do too. They come in a lighter color. These and the, the Spanx joggers are probably the two most luxe, nice, substantial joggers that I have purchased. More than the Lululemon, more than the UGG or any of the other brands, these two are the nicest, the most like nice, nice pants. But these have the just small elastic at the bottom, so it makes them, I think, very versatile. If you had a big cuff, it would be more limiting, but this makes it where you can just wear them with boots, you could wear them with flip-flops, you could wear them with, with your Uggs, anything. These have been washed and dried and they look great. You know, some things look different after you wash and dry them. These look wonderful and I really do love this color. I mean, can you see how nice they are? Very, very nice. The Barefoot Dreams Lux Chic. Definitely, that sums it up. Okay, the next thing is my Tory Burch flats that I purchased when I was doing a collaboration with Saks. There was just something I loved about these. I like that the fact that they are sporty, they have like this little thing in the back. I love the Sherpa, and I am a sucker for the gold emblem. I really like the Tory Burch emblem anyway. I loved the square toe. And best of all, they are so comfortable. And not once did they hurt my heel, did they slip or anything like that. So I will be putting pictures in here, but I'm gonna try these on for you too. I just wanted to show you these. I purchased these from Amazon. They are the Steve Madden, and they're not the same thing, but I think that they're kind of similar. Let me lower my camera really quick and I will show you both of these. I, I really like them. I think it's because one of the reasons I don't wear flats that much is because they're stiff and they make me walk funny. And I almost feel like they make me feel like this, like I'm even lower, but these are not like that because they're so, see how they stay on my heels? They're very, very stretchy. And I just think that they are really cool looking. Let me put on, let's see, do I have a, I was hoping I had a moto here, but in a minute I'm gonna put on a blazer and I'll show you, you know, the whole outfit with a blazer. But I really think if you're like me and you are not really into flats, but you want some cool ones that look a little edgy, a little sporty and just different, these are the flats for you. And let me show you how easy they go on too. Just like that. I just noticed when I put them on how easy they went on. And then these are the Steve Maddens. And these are gonna be more of your flip, you know, but still, I think they're cute. Number seven, your next favorites are these Steve Madden wedges. I just had to wash these to even be able to show them to you without being embarrassed. I wore these so much, they were funky. They are the most comfortable wedges ever. I felt like I could run in these and they go with everything. Found them on sale. I will put the link down below. They're just, if you wear wedges at all, if you're like me and you're getting excited for summer and spring, you may need to get a pair of these. You know I love clear shoes anyway. I love the clear heels, but these are just perfection and they're not expensive. And these have the really pretty 
buckle, like the tortoiseshell buckle. Uh, in the summer, I wear just a lot more color. I wear a lot of pink dresses and all floral stripes, everything. And these go well with that. Okay, and then the next favorite is these Nay leggings. Closest way to describe these would be maybe the Lululemon Align because they're very sleek and soft, but I think that they're more comfortable than the Lululemon. I like the waistband more and I just love them. I feel like Peter Pan, like I could just run all over the place, still have enough support that they keep things, they don't, they maybe not suck it in, but they keep it from jiggling. <laughs> Does that make sense? And also I have not worn another bra since I got the Nay little spaghetti strap bra. It is just perfection. I sleep in it, I wear it. I have, I think three of them and I just wash them in the washing machine and then hang them to dry. Okay, number nine I am out of and I just discovered this morning that they sell it at Ulta. So I'm going to go today and get a fresh bottle because it is the best ever body oil I've ever tried. And that is the OC body oil. First time I tried it was in a package that I got from the Nordstrom sale and I didn't know much about it. I didn't really know what to expect, but I would say it is hands down the best body oil I have ever tried. It spreads the most evenly, sinks in the most evenly. I usually put it on when I'm starting to get ready. This is what I was doing in the summertime. I would put a little bit of that on, let it dry while I'm putting my makeup on, and then use my body bronzer, and it would go over it so smooth, it would look airbrushed. It was just beautiful. I've been thinking I needed to order it, but I have some other ones that I'm using right now to kind of use up. But then when I realized that it's at Ulta, I'm gonna get some more. Number 10 is the Gap Velour Pants. I wore mine yesterday. I wore the kind of groovy brown caramel ones. I tried to wear the pants and the top. It was a no-go. I don't think it's like my color when it comes to up here, but I loved the pants and I got so many compliments. I went into Ulta and they were asking me about them. I wore them with that white fuzzy jacket from Target. I have loved these pants. I have the black ones. I have this color, which is like this raspberry. And then I have this like really pretty jewel tone blue sapphire. And then of course the black ones. I did size up in these. The first ones I got were small and I could wear them, but they weren't, I want them to be a little bit flowy. So I sized up to the medium. I ended up giving my mom the small, black set and she loves it too. And they are just so cool. A uh, girl that was complimenting me on these yesterday said, I miss Juicy Couture. That's what they kind of remind you of. I really like that they're not joggers or not straight. They actually flare out a little bit at the bottom. It just gives them a really cool look. If you're not into the whole, you know, suit, I don't blame you. I would just get some of the bottoms and put them on with like a big sweatshirt or a tank top and a big coat or something like that. But definitely worth the $20 and I'm so glad that you guys like these too. Yay, number 11 is the Colleen Rothschild Hair Serum. This makes me so happy. I want you to love your hair. I want your hair to be healthy. This is the one that I'm working on now. This is my new one. And just a little side note, I have been trying new shampoos, conditioners, and different products from the drugstore, trying to find us some good products, some things that are easier to get and more affordable, basically. I have not been successful. Last night I go, I use a new shampoo, a new conditioner, get out of the shower. I could barely comb through it. I did my normal blowout and everything. I get up, this is what my hair looks like when I'm not using good products. See how just, it's not shiny, it's dry looking. You guys would not believe how much oil and split in cream and all of these things that I bought, I put in here. So I usually take one pump and I wish I had just freshly brushed it out, but, and I will do this. I will kind of grab my front pieces like that and I'll do like this and 
you can see the difference. Colleen's serum is unbelievable. I love it. If I had to choose just one oil or serum, it would be hers. So glad that you guys love it too. Even if you don't get her shampoo and conditioner, I think you would benefit just from the serum. Number 12, Gucci flip flops. <laughs> you guys, I have a, remember when we started doing my closet clean out? I will post that video up here. Well, I finished it with you guys. It was a, like a 45 minute video that I am finishing up the editing now because I wanted to make it fun. And so each piece that I pull out, if I have worn it, I wanted to put a picture of me wearing it in that video. In the video, I mentioned that John found my other flip-flop. I lost one of these in my closet and could not find it, but we found it. So now I have two pair because I love these so much that I bought a backup pair. I love like the design on the actual footbed and then they have the tone on tone little logo emblem there. They are so comfortable and they're perfect. Like when you're going, you know, somewhere out of town or somewhere kind of dressy and you want to take something with you in case your feet start hurting or, you know, you just want something comfortable to walk around in besides tennis shoes, I would say these. Number 13, this is another one that makes me happy. The Scuba Blazer from Good American. This was something I just ordered on a whim. I didn't know anything about it. I had not seen anybody try it on. It is fabulous. I like the double breasted because it gives you that little bit oversized boyfriend, more of a stylish, trendy look. Because it's made out of this shiny kind of scuba material, it's very, very comfortable. So I thought what I would do is show you how this looks with the Tory Burch flats. See how they just, I think they're just so chic and sporty looking. And then this is just like the perfect length and style. And it wasn't crazy expensive. Parfum de Marly Delina, and I got the hair mist. I think I just associate this with the summertime because that's when I got it. But today I put it on like this. Honestly, I have the true fragrance and I prefer the hair mist because it's not quite as strong. Perfect. This is a great affordable way for you to get it and try it. So I don't spray it like on my hair. I kind of do it like this and just still walk into it. I see why this like took the world by storm. It's the most unique smell I have ever smelled. It's got like a little bit of rose. I think it's the lychee and maybe raspberry, but it is a just a unique fragrance. Very pretty. It's, I don't know. I would not say it's a smooth fragrance. It's definitely not boyfriend. It's very, very feminine, flirty. It's sexy in a feminine, flirty way. Like you think of a girl wearing a beautiful dress with maybe some ruffles, maybe that dress that Carrie wore when she saw Big down by the water and they fell in. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> okay, so number 15, I don't have with me, but it is the On Cloud sneakers. It's the ones that I got for Brooke during the Nordstrom sale. My mom, my brother, and my sister-in-law, they love those sneakers. And there's a place in town that they go and get them. So I wanted to get some good on cloud sneakers just for walking. I went yesterday to this shoe store here in town that sells them and they measured my foot like on a machine. They did like a whole scan and everything but like sold out of the on cloud. He, but he did tell me I needed to probably size up to an eight and a half. I picked out two from Nordstrom and I was gonna get you guys to help me. The lavender pair that I'll put up here and then there was another pair that I believe was like a gray combo. So help me decide which ones to get, but he did tell me to go ahead and get running shoes even for walking because they're lighter and he thought I would like them better. I think a lot of people love the on cloud tennis shoes and I'm gonna try them and let you know. Number 16 was my Michelle watch. This is the, here, I'll take it off and show you. This is the black ceramic Michelle watch. I have a silver one that I love. And I also have the Chanel ceramic white J12 watch. I always thought about getting the Chanel 
black ceramic, but I just didn't want to spend the money again, even though I like it. So when I saw this, even though this is not cheap, it's still an investment. It's not as much as the Chanel. And I knew the quality of these watches just as good, I will tell you. So this is my black ceramic Michelle watch. And they actually have the band that you can put on your iWatch. And then they had two designs that I thought about that one of them has like a zebra band and one of them has like a cheetah. That would be cool too. But I have really enjoyed this. I thought that I would having a, black, a solid black watch like this. I think it's very, you know, like I always say, chic, sporty, you know, stylish looking. And I really, this size is really good too. So I will put exactly which one this is down below so you'll know but I really love it. I feel like it fits my wrist good and I've really, really, really enjoyed this one. Number 17. Now this one is a shock, a surprise, and I need your help with this one. The Frontier Free People Boots. I bought these at the Nordstrom sale. I love these. I, I mean, they are just, I think they're fabulous. I think they would look good with my outfit right now. I love them. I was going to put them on for you. Then I realized why I haven't worn them. They don't have a zipper. They only have this little stretchy part. And I have, um, I have a hang up with that. I think I have kind of a phobia of, I just don't like that feeling of not being able to get my foot out. And I don't like shoes that are hard to, to put on. Here's the thing. It's like, I'm thinking about, I thought about just kind of slicing them like right there on the inside so that they were easy to put on and take off. But then what if I don't wear them and I want to give them to someone? What would you do? I really like them. They're so good. I love the exact color of tan they are. I love that the heel matches. I love the height. I love the shape of them. I love a boot that kind of goes in right there. I mean, I love everything about them. I love how worn looking they are. I just don't like that. I mean, today I could not get my foot in there and I'm not gonna wear socks just to wear a pair of boots. So let me know what you think, but I do really like these. They actually come in like a white, white-ish, like maybe off-white color too. That would be great for the summertime. Like I always say, if you have long, beautiful legs, I think something like this with a pair of shorts, I would do it in a heartbeat. Number 18 is the Syncocept Love Letter Blazer. Oh. I love this thing. I love it. It, I am so glad that I went for it because it was kind of pricey. I had never purchased anything from this line before. It was in the Nordstrom sale and it is just, just something. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of this. It's kind of like my wild fox sweater I have that's kind of out there, but, and I might not wear it a lot. I've actually worn this more than I thought I would, but I love it. They do have some that are similar to this. I don't know if this exact one is still available because a lot of these companies, when they do something for the Nordstrom sale, it's just for that sale and then they don't make it again. But I do know that you can get, first of all, this company makes amazing blazers. It does have the sleeves that just stay kind of scrunched for you. It's really nice. I think that you will love it. Hello, Chanel. Number 19 comes as no surprise, and that is the Colleen Rothschild Shampoo. I just went and grabbed mine out of the shower. What's so good about it? Ultra hydrating color safe shampoo infused with moringa oil and shea butter to lock in moisture and add lustrous shine without weighing hair down. Biotin and niacinamide deliver essential nourishment, leaving hair feeling restored, healthy, and strong. This is some good stuff. I'm gonna do a hair routine coming up soon, so I won't get into how many times I wash and how many pumps, because you know I'm a counter, so I count it. But this is just amazing. There's no wonder that you guys love it too. I love the pump, I love the fragrance. She sells out of this a lot. So if you are interested in trying it, I would go ahead and order it. She just got it in, I think it was last week when she was having the year-end sale. So the Colleen Rothschild shampoo, and I think you should try the hair mask too. Okay, then last but not least, number 20, another 13 by Le Labo. First of all, this is 
definitely sexy in a different way than the Delina. It's just smooth and it's it's not deep and it's not as bright as the Delina. One that is good to mix with other fragrances. A lot of times it smells different on each person. I would say it is definitely men and women and it is just so, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's a very light, smooth boyfriend scent. Maybe a little bit, it's not real leathery, not real ambery. It is just, it's fabulous. And I do think it's good to mix with other things. And I love it. I'm so glad that I got this. When I was really into fragrance, so many of you told me to get this. This one mixed with the Santal is very, very popular. I think this was one of their best sellers. 20 best sellers from the year 2022. And I'm so looking forward to 2023. Every year gets better and better and I just can't imagine. But I'm so happy you're here. I'm so thankful for you being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.